Woman takes off her clothes. She had just jumped into the river to swim naked. She saw a hundred dollar bill floating in the water. And to her surprise, there were more bills floating nearby. The girl looked around, hoping to find out where these bills came from. She didn't expect to find four backpacks. He rushed forward to check and found that they were full of money, thinking that she had become a millionaire. The girl was so excited, but in order to keep the money for himself, he had to hide it from his two companions. So he got dressed as if nothing had happened and went to the kayak. When her boyfriend wasn't looking, when her boyfriend wasn't looking, she was going to take all the money out of the kayak. But the girl underestimated the weight of the kayak. She fell straight down, and the noise of the fall attracted the attention of his companion Blackie. Seeing that Blackie realized that something was wrong, the girl had no choice but to ask Blackie to join her. So he said he wanted to give Blackie a surprise. She took him to the river, but looking at for bags full of cash. He was very righteous and wanted to tell Xiao Shui. I didn't expect Xiao Mei to gag him. And their intimate behavior successfully attracted the attention of Xiao Shui. What we did not expect is, Handsome was not only not interested in splitting the money. He also suggested that Xiao Mei should rush to the police. Because these money of unknown origin will surely bring a lot of trouble. But when she saw the money on the ground, Xiao Mei refused to give up. Seeing that the two of them do not understand, Xiao Shui didn't try to persuade them. He tore off the cloth bag on the money bag. After fixing his broken backpack, he chose to leave alone. But after seeing her boyfriend abandon her, Xiao Mei was happy because she could get less money. In order to hide the money, they tied the money bag to the bottom of the kayak and chose to leave by water away from the crowd. But Blackie pointed in the wrong direction. After paddling for a while, they encountered a party crowd. Seeing the police checking on the shore, Xiao Mei was extremely nervous. But the more she was afraid of something, the more you fear, the more it comes. Xiao Mei looked down. She realized that the banknotes in the bag were floating out. Two. At the woman's feet lay the body of her boyfriend, but there's not a single ripple on his face. This is a gangster with a murder weapon. Appeared behind the woman, but the woman still didn't notice anything strange. She even took a bath calmly. The gangster had never seen such a good thing in his 30 years of life. So he immediately looked through the glass of the bathroom. He greedily looked at the woman's exquisite body. The whole thing was clearly seen when the woman could not find a towel after the bath. Funeral Biao even warmly helped him a hand, but such a big living person standing in front of him. But the woman didn't realize he was there. So this woman is blind. That's why he can be so calm now. That's why Biao is so calm. That's why he didn't kill him. But then, the woman suddenly slipped on the blood on the floor. Dumbfounded, the woman followed the direction of the blood. But she found her boyfriend's body. The woman frowned see in her tracks. She panicked and wanted to call for help. But instead, she jumped, but she plunged into Biao's arms. Funeral Biao did not rush to Ezer. Instead, he threw things in the room at the woman. Instantly the woman's ears. The woman's ears rang with the sound of things falling to the ground. This caused him to be unable to accurately distinguish the exact position of Funeral Biao. So the woman had no choice but to run. With her familiarity with the house, the woman managed to lock Biao out of the door. Then she found her computer on the bed. Start listening. Armadillo is ready. Open email. Read email. The woman uses voice control. She wrote an email to her sister asking for help. But at that moment, Funeral Biao outside the door had completely lost patience. Just as the woman was about to send the email, Angry Funeral Biao stood up, then cool wet a big nose, steadily pressed the woman to the ground. The woman was caught, and at that moment, Xiang Biao also told the reason why he came here. It turns out that Biao is the woman's boyfriend, a business partner, but for some reason, he's been embezzling some things. And Biao is here. He's here to get them back. Where is it? This woman is so uncooperative. Biao decided to give him a taste of his own medicine, but just in the nick of time, Biao's phone rang at an inopportune moment. It's a broken SLR camera, but now he's blind. The girl's only chance to survive. While the murderer is on the phone spies, the girl hid the camera behind her back. When Biao came back to the room, the woman held back the fear in her heart. She lied that she would cooperate with him. Upon hearing this, Biao gradually relaxed his guard. But the next second, when Biao flew out of two miles, the woman immediately ran into the stairwell. But Biao soon followed her. Suddenly, the woman's foot slipped. She fell to the ground. But she didn't care about the pain. Because Biao was about to catch up with her. The two of them are chasing each other in the stairwell. But fortunately, the woman was the first to reach the first floor. But then something desperate happened to him. Because he ran too fast. Her head couldn't keep up. So the woman forgot the way out. Looking at the approaching pugilist. Physically and mentally exhausted. The woman chose to resign herself to her fate. Coming down here. Hearing this familiar voice. The woman's heart rekindled the hope of survival. Now, Biao panicked, because the person who came was the housekeeper of this apartment. But this housekeeper is real. He's just a bit stubborn. The woman begged him tearfully to go out and call the police. 
but the butler thinks he's black and big. There was no one who could stand up to him. The result was no surprise. When the hidden bodyguards came out, the butler's throat was immediately slit. Antonio, Antonio can't hear you anymore. But after such a moment, the woman suddenly remembered the way out. She finally managed to escape to the street. The woman asked for help from the pedestrians, but Biao could only watch the whole thing. He didn't dare to do anything. At this time, a bald man who called himself a prosecutor came over. He first helped the woman to report to the police. Then he personally sent the woman back to the apartment. But then the woman realized something was wrong, because behind him came a familiar voice. It's him I know. It turns out that these two people are actually a team. So the woman fell into the trap again. In order to force the woman to tell, to force the woman to tell her that her boyfriend had taken all the goods. The Buddha there, threw the woman's cap from the 20th floor. But what I didn't expect was, after seeing this scene, Funny Biao was even more angry than the woman. The woman was also shocked when she heard this. I never imagined that the murderous Biao was a cat lover. He is a cat lover. He even went so far as to fight with his brother for the sake of this kitten. He even went so far as to fight with his big brother. But it's a pity. He's no match for A-Face Buddha. But the defeated funeral Biao was obviously unconvinced. And the woman also keenly sensed this point. So when Biao was bringing him water alone, the woman made a proposal to Biao. In fact, from the very beginning, she knew what they wanted. The reason why she didn't give it to him, the reason why he didn't give it to them, was because he was afraid that they would kill them to silence them. But through what happened just now, the woman believes Biao is not that kind of crazy guy. But a faced Buddha is different. When he really gets these things, the woman won't be the only one to die. $20 million divided by two. Why would Hollander cut you in when you could take it all from himself? The woman's words managed to make Biao ponder. But just as he was thinking, whether or not to agree with the woman, the true Sai Buddha took the first step to kill the woman. Two thugs pressed the blind girl to the table. At this time, the true Sai covered the girl's mouth and nose with a towel. Then, he poured a bottle of water on the towel. The girl lost her ability to breathe. She was struggling on the table in pain. That's right. For the sake of less suffering, the girl finally gave in. But he was only willing to tell the whereabouts of the diamonds. Bami Fu alone. This made Biao furious. Looking at the two men walking towards the balcony, Biao could only drink alone. But at that moment, Biao sensed something wrong. He realized that there was a diamond hidden in the eyes. Original, the woman is intentionally pulling the flower away. In order not to let down the woman's good intentions, Biao hurriedly melted all the eyes. But at that moment, the Chiu Sai noticed Biao's little action. So it immediately pushed the woman aside. When Biao came over with the wine, the Chiu Sai Buddha had already guessed what he was thinking. The result was not unexpected. Battling Buddha searched the body of Biao. He found the diamonds worth $20 million. But before battling Buddha could be happy for a while, the woman suddenly stuck a fork into his back. The pistol and the diamonds fell to the ground. But even though she had the upper hand, the woman was still no match for Brampton. Just when his life was in danger, Bea, who had only one breath left, rushed out. I can't get it. I can't get it. And you can't get it either. Biao had a final confrontation with Buddha. But the result was the same as before. Biao failed once again. But when A-Faced Buddha found the woman, but when A-Faced Buddha found the woman, he had already pointed his gun, aimed at the direction of A-Faced Buddha. Although the woman is blind, but her sense of hearing has been greatly improved. As oh, as long as the flower makes the slightest noise, she will be killed by the woman. But then an accident happened. Fireworks were set off in the quiet night. The sound from the distance successfully interfered with the woman's hearing. Badomi and Buddha took a look. It's time to get up. As oh. He used a rock to attract the woman's attention, and then he rushed towards the woman. But what Brampton didn't know was, the woman was a retired soldier, so he quickly reacted again. This time, Brampton didn't dare to make a move. Suddenly, the woman put the $20 million worth of diamonds on the rooftop. When Brampton was wondering what he was going to do, the woman took out a diamond from the bag. That's it. The woman took out another diamond. Hey, look at the diamond that was already in his hands. Was being thrown down the stairs by the woman like a stone sea. But you side Buddha couldn't stand it any longer. He recklessly rushed towards the woman. And this is the opportunity that the woman has been waiting for. But he didn't realize. But you side Buddha had lost his mind to a certain extent. He ignored the pain in his body. He pressed the woman to the rooftop. I won't. Ah. Uh, after the dust had settled. The woman refrounced the diamond. Into a block of ice. And then the kitten. The puff the Buddha had thrown down the stairs. Came over to me. And peed on the body of the Buddha. And left without looking back. Three, a man has been stranded in the desert for three whole days. Suddenly he found a little boy who was lost. The man wanted to take the boy home. But little did he know, he had already fallen into the boy's trap. After the two of them had been walking for a whole day, the boy took the man's only bottle of water and drank it in one big gulp. 
Then he poured all the unfinished water on the ground. The man was furious, but there was nothing he could do. There was nothing he could do. Without water, the man could not move in the desert. Luckily, he found a cabin. In the valley, he found a hut with people living in it. The man saw it. He climbed down a ladder from the cliff, and he opened the door of the cabin. What the man didn't expect. The woman was not surprised by his appearance. It was as if she knew he was coming. Why do you say that? Because she had already prepared a dinner for him. But what makes the man feel even more creepy is that, although the woman in front of him talked very little, but her eyes were always staring at the man. After a long night, the man left the cabin early. But then a strange thing happened. The ladder that used to hang from the cliff had been taken away by someone. The man couldn't climb up from such a high distance, so he had to find a woman and ask her what happened. But the woman only said lightly, a neighbor must have taken it. That can't be the only way out, there is no other way. Looking at the only half of the ladder left, suddenly, the man had an idea. He rummaged through the woman's house. He finally found a hammer. The man then uses his excellent climbing skills, step by step, toward the half ladder. But just as the man was about to succeed, I don't know who threw a pig's head from the top. The frightened man immediately fell to the ground. When the man woke up again, he found that the hammer stuck right in his knee. The woman came over from the side. She bandaged the man's injured thigh. He bandaged the man's injured thigh, but the man didn't appreciate it, because he knew very well there must be someone on the cliff to prevent him from leaving the mountain, and this woman must be their accomplice. Therefore, the man's desire to escape became even more urgent. At that moment, the figure suddenly appeared on the cliff. The man felt like he had grabbed a straw to save his life. He begged the two men to save him. They quickly agreed, but before that, the man needed to answer a question first. What is your favorite color? Although the man was confused, but he still answered that he likes red color. At that moment, the two men threw down a rope from above. But what the man didn't know was, this rope is not a magic weapon to get out. But it was another carefully prepared trap. The man had been trapped in the valley for a month. Suddenly, a man came to the edge of the cliff. He threw a rope into the valley. The man hurriedly tied the rope to his body. But just when the man thought, he thought he was about to escape, the rope suddenly stopped. No matter how much the man yelled, the rope never moved again. So the man had to use his amazing arm strength. He climbed up the rope step by step. But it was clear that this was not practical at all. It was just afternoon. The sun hangs high in the sky. Even spiders can't stand the heat. Let alone a man. He's hanging from a rope. Like a piece of bacon slowly drying out. But then drops of water suddenly fell from the cliff. The man looked at them. And realized. Who knows whose little brow was peeing. The man was furious. But what's even more crazy is still to come. A couple of boys kept shaking the rope. The man rushed to the woman in the house to ask for help. But the boys had no intention of stopping. Instead, they became more and more frantic. At that moment, the woman who heard the noise came out. But it was too late. The man hit the cliff and fainted. When he woke up again, he rushed outside the house like a madman. But then a woman in a big costume blocked his way. Ah, uh, it's obvious. This woman was stalking the man's body. She was really greedy. The kind of craving that comes from the bottom of his heart. But for some reason, he can't make a move on the man at the moment. Now the man is completely devastated. He could not understand what kind of secret is hidden in this valley and why they're holding him captive. The woman gave an answer. The man was even more confused, but the woman didn't say anything else. She turned around and took off her clothes. A long time of suppressed emotions made the man make a mistake. All men make the same mistake. After one night, it was as if the man had suddenly come to his senses. He no longer resisted life in the valley. He accepted it with open arms. Until the woman told him the good news. I have a child inside me growing. The man frowns. He didn't want his child to be born in such an environment. What does that mean? That he didn't want the child. But the woman said she never planned. She said that she never intended to let the man take the blame. When he heard this, he suddenly realized, you've trapped me here so that you can get pregnant. You're treating me like a mating machine. But what happened next? But what happened next completely made the man realize that he had thought to simply. That day, a boy appeared on the cliff. He specializes in delivering supplies to men and women. But the man realized this boy was not as crazy as the others. So the man immediately begged him to let him out. While the boy hesitated, the other boy approached him. At first the man thought that his escape plan had failed. But the next day, he saw that the boy was hanging in the valley above. As the man's bladder took a closer look, it turned out that on the boy's back, there was a gruesome wound on the boy's back. The boy was dead? The man was puzzled. The woman beside him cried as if she had lost her own father. She was crying like a broken heart. At this time, the secret of the valley was finally revealed. It turns out, all the boys on the cliff were the woman's children, and the main culprit who caused them to be at each other's throats. 
is this damn man? In order to avenge her son, the woman decided to teach the man a painful lesson. The man was imprisoned in a dog cage. Every day, he could only rely on a bowl of dog food to fill his stomach. As each day passes, the man's spirit has obviously become abnormal. But little did he know, this is all for the people who are watching him. In fact, the man never gave up the idea of escape. That day, a girl in yellow appeared on the cliff. The man saw her as if she was his savior. He deliberately lowered his voice, hoping that the girl on the cliff could to find someone to save her. Fortunately, the girl's ability to understand is relatively strong. Although the man's voice, even the woman next door did not hear, but the girl understood him very well. I'll get your help, but the man wasn't happy for long. The girl was caught. The girl's neck was snapped alive. The girl was strangled alive. The man was desperate. He used everything he could. He threw himself against the cage, but he clearly underestimated the harness of the cage. After calming down, the man finally gave in. He begged the woman to let him out. He was willing to take on the responsibility of a father and raise the child with the woman, and he promised never to leave the valley again. But the woman's next words shattered his illusions. You never had any choice to take this. You cannot do this alone. Soon the day came for the woman to give birth. But unlike the past, this time the birth did not go smoothly. And so, the woman had no choice but to seek help from the man. The man rushed to help the woman to the cabin. But then he realized that the letter that had disappeared had reappeared. The man was overjoyed. He turned around and led the woman to the ladder. But then, the woman fell to the ground because of her body. After some hesitation, the man, he finally decided to leave her behind. But when the ladder was right in front of him, behind him, suddenly there was a baby's cry. The man's baby was born. At that moment, the man seemed to have made up his mind. He ran towards the mother and child without any hesitation. Perhaps it was not until this moment, the man had never really thought of saying. But then the woman said, I will feed her and teach her and love her. For one day she will be mother, and I will have served my every purpose. Just to see you now while the man was confused. A boy came through the back door and cut his neck. Now all the secrets of the valley were solved. It turns out they were a strange family living in the desert. In order to reproduce, they can only abduct tourists from the surrounding area to the valley. When the tourists give birth to a woman, the tourists are mercilessly killed and eventually become the oxygen of the desert. But what's even more sickening, if the woman gives birth to a boy, the child is banished to the desert to help the woman abduct tourists. But if it's a girl, the woman would raise it to become the next mother. But when that day comes, that means the woman has lost all value and the end result for him is the same as the desert's nourishment. Women are ruthless. There's nothing for a man to do. See how tough this woman is. For the sake of her lover, she poisoned her father-in-law, killed her husband, she killed her child, and finally sent her lover to the guillotine. Such a plot. Even a novel wouldn't dare to write such a plot. And in a wedding dress is pure as snow. That's what she did. Weddings are a very important part of a woman's life. Of a woman's life. Even though Anne was sold to a nobleman's family as a means of carrying on the family line. But for this simple wedding, to her future husband, she was full of expectations. She longed for love to be cared for by him. He secretly turned his head with joyful glances at the man of the man who would be with him for the rest of his life and soon bowed his head in shame in the bridal chamber and with the help of her maid took off her white wedding gown and put on her nightgown. In anticipation of her husband's arrival, as the saying goes, the higher the expectations, the greater the disappointment, the greater the disappointment. The husband's arrival not only did not give him a good face, he humiliated him. He made the woman stand by the bed naked and went to bed. At that moment, all of Annie's dreams were torn away by this man. That's all. Annie had lost her youthful vigor, her condition. The servants saw it too, and the servants saw it in their eyes. They had no respect for him. When the dawn came, the maid, Jade, would arrive as expected, open the window without a care in the world. The sun's rays were so strong, Annie had to get up, and so began his day. He washed and dressed, he eats, and then he's like a pretty doll. Like a pretty doll. For the admiration of the nobility. That's all. But my father-in-law was still not satisfied with him. He used to hurt him with his cruel words. This shattered Anne's pride. The house was a prison for his soul and made him lose his natural vigor. Until the day her husband and father-in-law had to go away for a while. Her husband and father-in-law had to go away for a while to take care of business. This instantly lifted Annie's spirits and the repressed maidenhood was once more released. Shedding her body gowns in the clothes that she wore, she went to the sea with the wind in her face and looked into the distance. The smite that she hadn't seen in a long time appeared on her face again. When she's tired of playing, she lies down on the sofa, squinting and enjoying this rare and cozy life. At that moment, there was a noise outside. I followed the noise to the stables. 
He found the valets were bullying Suihua. Angry, he stopped them from doing so. Most of the servants listened obediently to his reprimand. Only the new stable boy was not afraid of the tiger. Not only did he dare to contradict him, he put his arm around him when he wasn't looking. This alarmed Anne, who hadn't been around a man for a long time. She gave him a stern talking to and then ran away. The groom's reckless behavior disturbed Anne. She thought that her husband would rather do it himself than touch her. In the strong body of the groom, the hormones from the horseman's strong body were flooding him. He couldn't sleep all night. The next day, Anne deliberately appeared in the groom's neighborhood. She smiled at the horseman who greeted her. That night, he came to his room, although he resisted, but he couldn't resist his physical needs. Eventually, he had sex with him. As the saying goes, once a man's desire is ignited, they say that once a man's desire is ignited, he can't be stopped. And so it was with Annie. The pleasure he got from having sex made him even more self-absorbed. He was unapologetic in his behavior in front of his subordinates. In front of his subordinates. And it made him fall in love with it. It didn't last long. The return of her father-in-law. Annie was once again a well-dressed doll. But he didn't know it. A while ago, his father-in-law knew about his escapades. He beat him severely. The groom had him locked up. When Annie found out, she had the guts to plead with her father-in-law. She wanted the groom to be spared. It was better if she didn't plead. But this plea enraged him even more. He insulted him. He slapped him across the face. He blamed him for not being a woman. The slap enraged Annie. To save the groom. At breakfast the next day, he deliberately provoked her father-in-law into eating in his room. And then blocked the doorknob with a chair. So that he couldn't get out. Then he called his servant, Tsui Hua, to eat with him. He didn't listen to the cries for help in the room. He didn't allow Tsui Hua to open the door. In this way, the eunuch ate poisonous mushrooms. He lost his life because he couldn't be rescued in time. What's even more tragic? Tsui Hua couldn't bear the pressure. Tsui Hua became a new woman and her husband because of his word. He couldn't come back for the funeral. No more obstacles. They lived together completely and reveled in this life. That night, after a passionate night, the two of them were sleeping in each other's arms. When they were awakened by the sound of horses outside their door, she looked out the window and saw her husband's horse below. That meant he was back. He was so frightened that he sent the groom into hiding. In his panic, he failed to hide the groom's belt. But her husband found it. Even the best of lice couldn't hide the fact that he was cheating on her. He stopped pretending. For the sake of love, he gave up everything. He directly pulled out the groom to perform an indescribable scene. The husband was so angry, he fought with Marv. Annie was determined to stay with Marv for a long time. To be with him for a long time. She killed her husband with a stick. She buried her husband in the darkness of the night. Destroyed all evidence. Without the obstacles of her father-in-law and husband. They lived together openly and honestly. Made the stable boy take off the clothes that represented the dowager. And put on gowns. Let the servants wait on them as they dined together. And made him feel that he was the master of the house. That's why you can't be too proud. A few days later, a woman with her husband's illegitimate son, Jack Jr., with her husband's illegitimate son, Jack Jr., and with a signed inheritance document from her husband, that put them back in their place. The coachman went back to the servant's room. It wasn't long before, and realized she was pregnant. She looked at her belly and came to see Marv. I'll kill anyone who tries to stop me from being with you. I'll kill him. And now little Jack has come along and stopped us from being together. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. She scared the horseman so much that he didn't say yes. In order to force the horseman's hand, she told him about the pregnancy. And he finally agreed. Late at night, Annie and Marv covered little Jack with a pillow. Annie looked at little Jack's body, who had done nothing to her. She had no quarrel with him. The tears of remorse streamed down the young Jack's face. He knew Jack's fun is for him. Little Jack's death attracted the inspector's attention. He found injuries on Jack's body. They concluded that it was murder. As we were discussing who might have killed little Jack, the coachman came in. He couldn't stand the thought of his own conscience. He told the story of how he killed little Jack. And he heard the horseman's accusations against him. And his heart went cold. And then, she put the blame on Marv and Trisha. Because they were justified in committing the murder. The horseman, in retaliation for the beings he received, and confronted Twaywa because the Tsui couldn't speak, and they were lowly servants. No one believed them. In the end, they were both sent to the execution ground. In the end, and became the master of the house. The children became heirs, still living the life of a nobleman, but he no longer had a kindly light in his eyes. Instead, there was an endless emptiness. Living on this estate without love, this is the end of the movie. I'm KX. I look forward to sharing the next episode with you. 5. The top assassin is going crazy on his target. But the man didn't hear a thing. He's still talking to his wife on the phone. Unbeknown, soon after, the man drove to a nearby gas station. 
But what he didn't know, the killer was following him. What's Eve use a bubble gum? He finished the repair work. While the man was blow drying his hair, the killer also started to act. He spread poison all over the towel. He went into the killer's mouth. That's how it happened. Once again, the man was lucky to escape. Afterwards, the man paid the bill and the man a bomb gift. If nothing goes wrong, an accident will happen soon. The super killer has installed in the man's car a time bomb with a one minute countdown timer. A woman squeezes a cup full of ketchup and doesn't eat it. She knocked it over on purpose. Then she stepped on it when no one was looking. Not only did she save money on her meal, she could also blackmail them all for money. You can't see from the woman's trunk. Inside is full of professional bumper props. She's still not satisfied after this. The next moment, she was eyeing a rich man who had just bought a color TV. After getting into the car, the tycoon was more careful. He noticed the rearview mirror was completely blocked by the color TV. So he could only look at the road through the rearview mirror. Even though he was very careful, but the car still hit someone. The victim was no one else. It was the ceiling flower in the world of bumper cars. This scared the rich man. Jay claimed that she couldn't leave without $100. 000 or $80. 000. Just after the words, she realized that the tycoon's car was a rare limited edition. So she changed her mind. She immediately raised the price by $20,000. The tycoon had no choice but to pay the compensation check. And Twehua, she skillfully transferred the money into her bank account. Then the neck cover was glued on and put it in gear and drove the car in search of other unlucky people. Soon enough, he locked on to a very stylishly dressed woman. Such a leak, Swehua would not let go, but he never expected. This time there was an accident. As soon as Swehua appeared in the back, she was knocked out by another truck, and the lady who didn't know about it gave him a second injury. Afterward, the mom rushed to call for help until I think I killed her. After receiving the report, the fire department was the first to arrive at the scene. It's certain that Swehua was really hurt this time. Even so, he still remembers the two cars that hit him. The truck hit him first. The lady hit him later. Anyway, both owners had to pay compensation. It didn't take long. Paramedics and police arrived at the scene. One of them felt a sense of deja vu when he saw Tsuiwa. They felt a sense of deja vu. They couldn't remember where they'd seen her before. Luckily, one of the policewomen had a better memory. She recognized Tsuiwa right away. Tsuiwa was arrested for theft. She was released only three months ago. I didn't realize that she'd taken up bumper cars. At the end of the story, Swehua didn't get any money. She even got hurt. What's even sadder is that she got a silver bracelet. Zevan, I want to slap him when I see this woman. Don't look at him like he's innocent. He looks like a sweetie pie. He's not a simple man. Sleeping with his half-brother at his father's funeral. That's not bad enough. What's worse is that his best friend died. He went to her house every day to cook for her kids. He even coached her husband in bed. What's more, he packed up all her things and planned to throw them away and move into a mansion. The weird thing is, when she moved her luggage in, she found everything she threw away was back in its place. This scared the hell out of her. She saw her best friend's death with her own eyes. Now that she's dead, then who put her things back? Is there really a sin? Or maybe she's not dead. It all started a few months ago. Mei was picking up her son from school. She met her son's classmate's mom. Miss, AI. AI is not only good looking. Her life was like a miracle. She's got a lot of money. She's even got a husband who loves and cares for her. This Mei Mei, a widow, both jealous and envious. She wanted to make friends with the winner of her life. After a secret exchange between the two, they became best friends and talked about everything. What puzzled Chao Mei? AI was so good looking, but she doesn't like to be photographed. As soon as she takes a picture, she'll immediately fall out with her. For the sake of this hard-won friendship. So she deleted the photos she took. That day, Mei got a call from her best friend. She said she had something to do at work. She asked her to take care of the baby for her. After that, she disappeared. She didn't answer her phone calls. She didn't text her back. Xiaomei was so anxious. So she asked her fans to look for her. At the suggestion of her fans, they came to AI's company. Unintentionally found in the office. AI's old and haggard photo in the office. Now we have a photo. In order to find sister AI in time, he put up posters all over the street. A few days later, Mei and her best friend's husband were discussing AI's whereabouts. They received a call from the police, saying that AI had been found, but she was already dead. AI died in a strange way. At the funeral, Xiao Mei was busy preparing everything, but that night, she comforted her best friend's husband in bed. The next day, Mei was the hostess. She was wearing AI's dress. Then the police came to tell her, before AI disappeared, her husband had bought her a $4 million life insurance policy. That scared her. Did they kill AI just to cheat Po? It's true that I wanted to get everything from AI. 
but she didn't want to live with a murderer, so she confronted him. After his sweet words, Mei was so happy to hear it. Finally, she could move into the mansion with honor, so she cleaned out Aichan's things. The weird thing is, when he moved his stuff over, he found that the things he had cleaned up were back in their original places. This scared her to death. Then her phone rang. It was that dad Eje. He was sarcastic about her seducing her husband. After a few words, she hung up in a hurry. What she couldn't figure out was, the corpse did look just like Eje, but she was the one who called just now. What's going on here? And why did she know about me and her husband? I guess the only way to solve this mystery, I'll have to find out for myself. He learned it from his best friend, Mr. Painting. AI is a fraud. She cheated the teacher out of her money. She also gave Mei a new clue. It was a summer camp dress. He found a summer camp through the clothes. After his sweet verbal attack, he quickly got what he wanted. She found her best friend in the summer camp photo. And to her surprise, she was surprised that her best friend had a twin sister. And that's when she found her twin sister. She went to her mom's house. She found out from her mom's description. They couldn't stand their father's domestic violence. So they burned their father to death. In order to escape from the law, they disappeared. Now Mei understood completely. Her best friend didn't die. In order to cheat the $4 million of insurance premiums, he killed his own sister. So Xiao Mei reported the insurance policy, and she provoked her best friend by shouting at her in the live broadcast. This completely pissed off AI. What AI didn't expect was, Xiao Mei's white rabbit turned into a big black wolf. He wants to fight back. They met at his grave. Once they met, they started to fight each other. AI said sarcastically, You didn't just sleep with your own brother. You even slept with your best friend's husband. Xiaomei also said, in order to cheat for million dollars of insurance premiums. You even killed your sister, after hurting each other. Sister AI also told the truth. When AI and her husband were trying to cheat the insurance, they found her sister and killed her. Then they got the money and ran away. Unfortunately, Xiaomei appeared. Her husband didn't do what he agreed to do. Bauer slept with Xiaomei. She even tried to abandon him. This made all his work in the past go down the drain. After hearing this, Xiaomei, the two of them, are going to work together, together to punish her scummy husband. First, Xiaomei put the forged evidence in her best friend's husband's car. Then her best friend hurt herself. She went to the police to report her husband, in order to cheat the insurance. He forced him to fake his death, although she won't get the money, but at least she can get away with it. When the husband was arrested, Jewel came home, asked AI why she framed him. The whole situation has come to a reversal. At that moment, Xiaomei barged in, she attacked the scumbag. She shot him twice, and he fell to the ground. At this moment, her best friend laughed and said, You guys are so naive. You're just trying to get me to tell you that I liked Baosha. You guys are not very good at acting. She also kept satirizing them. They said, I've dismantled the listening device installed by the police. I knew what you were doing long ago. What's unexpected is, then he pulled out a real gun. He shot the husband again. This time, the husband was really cold. Then he belittled Xiaomei. When he was about to kill Xiaomei, this time, Xiaomei was calm. She pointed to the camera on her chest. It turned out that Xiaomei had been broadcasting live since she came in. At this time, the popularity of the live broadcast room exceeded 1 million. AI was so scared that her whole life was exposed. She turned around and ran away. She wasn't so lucky this time. She crashed her car. She was also caught by the police who arrived. And Mei became the biggest winner. She gained a lot of fans. She even became a private detective. This is the end of the movie. A lot of places are not explained. If you are interested, you can go and watch it. It's really wonderful. I'm KX. I look forward to sharing the next episode with you.